Well, according to the advocacy group Free Tibet, 28 people died from self-immolation in November alone. Stephen Jang has more on this disturbing trend. It's a tale of two Tibets as China ushers in new leadership. Online, reports of Tibetans setting themselves on fire to protest what they call religious and cultural repression by the Chinese government. And horrifying videos like these smuggled out by pro-Tibetan and human rights groups, though the videos cannot be independently verified. On state television, a scene of ethnic unity and harmony, with Tibetans thanking the ruling Communist Party for policies they say have improved their daily lives. Differing views, but one thing is certain. Human rights groups say, despite tightened security in Tibetan areas within China, the disturbing trend of self immolations shows no sign of abating. They estimate that since last year, more than 90 people have set themselves ablaze. That includes more than two dozen since the beginning of November, just before the Communist Party opened its National Congress in Beijing for a power transition. As the list of mostly young victims grows longer, activists say it reflects a painful and desperate state of mind for many Tibetans living in what they describe as an increasingly repressive environment. And they warn if the Chinese government continues to tighten its grip on the Tibetan people in the name of stability, it's only going to create more resentment and backlash. Chinese authorities insist self-immolations are isolated incidents. They say most Tibetans do not sympathize with or support such actions. One senior official from Sichuan, a province with a large Tibetan population that's seen the most self-immolation cases so far, says he knows exactly who's to blame. They plot, incite and instigate. The root cause for such acts is the Dalai Lama clique. His loyalists have called those who committed self-immolation national heroes or freedom fighters. The Dalai Lama has long denied China's assertion that he's seeking Tibetan independence. He says he wants only genuine autonomy. He's also repeatedly called on Chinese authorities to investigate and address the causes for the recent spate of self-immolations. The exiled Tibetan spiritual leader has cited China's late paramount leader when expressing his wishes that Beijing reassess its Tibet policy. The leaders should follow Ding Xiaoping sort of advice, seeking truth from fact. That's very, very important. With the rise in Tibetan self-immolations, a long-running dispute is now back in the spotlight for China's new communist leaders. Stephen Zhang, CNN, Beijing.